Besides that, I think uh, there are a few tips in general that I would love to give every applicant who's planning to come here. One, I think no one tells this enough, don't compare yourself to others. Same thing, everyone works very differently, everyone has a very different goal, everyone has a very different place they need to reach at, and everyone's struggle's gonna look different. You want to be a surgeon, I don't wanna be a surgeon. The truth is, your residency is gonna be harder and longer. I cannot bargain with God, oh, you're, you're doing a less hard job, so I should get more benefit. No, it's about you're doing what you need to do to get what you need to be. I'm doing what I need to do, and that is the struggle that I'm doing. If someone's becoming a psychiatrist or a dermatologist, life for them ultimately is not hard, but in, in the sense that their work-life balance is better. But that is the reason they want it to be that, partly, right? So they deserve to have the benefits of a good lifestyle. You wanted to be a surgeon, but you knew what the cost of it is, but nothing else would give you satisfaction, and that's why you're becoming a surgeon. So you don't get to complain. That's the life that you choose. So everyone's journey is different, and this country has enough for everyone who deserves to get it, which is a very difficult idea to comprehend. Back home, I've seen a lot of people who will hide in their rooms and study and not let anyone know that they're studying because, oh, it's competition. Sure, it's competition, but with yourself. You will not make it here if you don't deserve it. If you deserve it, people will make an extra seat for you. They will change the system to get you here if you're that good. So all I found is the realization help others, help each other. One, sure, it helps you make, it makes you a better person. It teaches you yourself the best because teaching is the best way that you can educate yourself. But realize your humanity, like helping someone when you can is important and makes you feel so much good about yourself. And it's a cycle. If someone teaches me something, I cannot teach the same thing back to them, but I can pass it on to someone else. I am doing all of this right now because I'm relevant my information is useful to people because no one told me these things. I want to change that. And I have no expectation of someone giving this back to me in return because I know this, but they'll probably help their juniors or they'll help someone else. It's a beautiful cycle. The third thing is don't go out in search for hardships. Don't go out looking for struggles. I see a lot of times like, oh, you, you just backed out or you didn't struggle. Ah, like we look at with a different kind of a feeling if someone did not end up struggling with something. Everyone's struggle is different. And trust me, your struggle will find its way to you. You don't have to go looking for it. Someone struggles with visas. Someone struggles with education. Someone struggles with finances. Someone struggles with uh, their communication skills. Everyone has their own struggles, right? If you are lucky enough to not have, it, not have been born in poverty, don't feel bad about it. It's okay. Your finances are sorted. You probably have some other struggle and you'll work on it, right? Don't go look out, looking out for struggles. Like, for example, I was um, in this college called VMMC, Safdarjang, where I was admitted um, as a medical student in my first year for some time. And I was like, oh, these hostels don't look fun. Not that that was the reason I did not end up being there, but... I think it's the job of a good college if I'm scoring an all India rank of 47, which people are, are running behind each other to get that rank, then it's the college of that place to give me a good lifestyle, at least a be decent lifestyle. I don't like this culture of you will make it to a great place and you will get all the clinical exposure, but they are not giving you enough facilities. Like, give me a decent room to sit in. There's crazy washrooms, 30 people are sharing that washroom. I have not been that person. If I have a choice to not take that, with a similar benefit, I probably agree to the point. Why do you want to put yourself in hardships, right? Because my concept of good colleges when I went to Oxford in London was if I, if I do great, I'll probably match at a place like this. That's the incentive. The incentive should not be that I'm going to get a worse lifestyle. Lifestyle is important. I am absolutely against the culture of, of, oh, you made it to this place, so now you got to take it because 100 people are behind the spot. If you leave it, then someone else will take it. Let them take it. This societal pressure should not be a thing. If you do not want to be a radiologist, right, and everyone else is taking radiology because it's the hottest thing, but you don't want to be a radiologist, who is, what is the society to tell you that take radiology, just because the society is taking it for a good lifestyle, but I am someone who enjoys a good patient conversation, I will be so depressed if I was a radiologist, even if it's the top branch. I will probably choose something that I want, not because I scored rank one and I'm getting radiology and that's why I'm taking radiology, no. But societal pressure is so, so real. So choose your own path. It's okay, your struggle will find its way. Give back to the society, 
stop comparing yourself and for all the other concrete tips which are not abstract as i just said you can definitely follow my youtube channel medically mediocre and you'll find very concrete answers perfect <laughs>